Welcome to the Foundations lesson, Nodes, Networks, and Assets. A great way to understand Houdini's node-based workflow is to explore it in the context of a project. It is important to start learning how to think and work procedurally. In this lesson, you'll learn how to work with nodes, networks, and assets to create your own custom Brickify tool. You will then build a custom interface to make it easy to work with this new tool. To get started, you will build a single brick model that you will later copy onto points to create the Brickified shape. You will create this brick using a combination of polygon modeling tools. Along the way, you will see how each action you take creates a node in Houdini that defines a recipe of steps taken to create the geometry. You are now going to create a cloud of points that match the shape of a particular piece of geometry. You are then going to instance the bricks to the 3D grid to create a brickified version. The instancing is generated by packing the brick geometry, then instancing them to the points. Earlier, you added a color attribute to the points, which affects the coloring of the brick instances. Instead of using a single color, you are now going to use a texture map to create a more interesting look for the bricks. This will involve some special nodes to turn the texture into point colors. Now that the Brickify recipe is working and the nodes are wired together properly, you're going to wrap up some of the nodes to create a single Houdini digital asset node. Parameters from inside the asset can be promoted at the top level to create an interface that generates unique results each time the asset is used. Now you can easily share this asset as a tool to other artists. To continue adding features to the asset, you will create an automated build-up animation for the bricks. This will involve adding more nodes to the network to make sure the asset has this new functionality. Once the results are saved into the digital asset, the feature will become available for anyone to use. You will now create a pegboard for the brickified shapes to sit on. You will borrow some of the geometry from the single brick and use that to copy to the points of the grid. These will be combined with a box that has been beveled to create rounded edges. To render the scene, you're going to bring geometry into the Solaris or Lops context of Houdini. Lops are used for layout, look dev, lighting, and rendering to the Karma XBU render. You will set up materials that make use of the point colors on the bricks, then set up some lights and a camera. You will render a still image and then an animated sequence using the Brickify tools animate feature. Good luck and have fun.